Kids are loving to get, I'll say that again, sorry, kids are loving to get dressed up for Halloween. But gone are the days of innocent homemade costumes. I'm a bit worried about this. Outfits are getting increasingly provocative and they're more likely to scare the parents than the kids. So let's take a look at the clip from this modern family. What? You told me to put on an old costume. Not from when you were eight. You're trying to get candy or Japanese businessmen. Change it. Go. Okay. Mom, you cannot have a problem with this. I'm Mother Teresa. Are you kidding me? What? I'm her back when she was hot. Cover you up. I did actually see that one. That was awesome because I have to. I have a daughter, I have an eight-year-old. By the way, we're here with Sharon Witt, who's our teacher and parenting expert. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, I have an eight-year-old. We were just talking about this mm. off camera. And, uh, of course, she sees these role models on television mm. and she sees them dressed in this way and she wants to go and imitate this. Mm. And, you know, it's kind of getting so outrageous that I actually wonder, well, what's the purpose of Halloween and why are they prompting this? Why are the marketing, the people who are responsible for this, marketing these outrageous outfits? Mm, exactly, Kate. And it's very interesting because this is a, an American tradition and my daughter herself doesn't actually understand what Halloween is. What is it? You know, it's, it's some sort of tradition that's really American, yeah. but yet she wants to dress up and, you know, put a witch's outfit on. But the lines are getting very blurred here between what is an appropriate Halloween outfit, you know, gone are the days when we put out, you know, put a big sheet over us and, you know, put a belt around and go as a witch and knock on neighbours' doorsteps, they're becoming quite raunchy. Just on the weekend, Kate, I went out to a store and, you know, this is a little, I guess, a little wench sort of outfit for um, a six-year-old, you know, complete with the little the ties there. And, you know, I don't really think that's appropriate for a little six-year-old to wear. Um, and then we've, of course, got the underwear, uh, Good Girl Gone Vampire, <sighs> which, you know... I just think is really but what are they very wrong. They're planning that kids should go out in the street dressed. No, but year. this was actually amongst the children's outfits. So oh these were put in between. And then you go, the darling devil. Now this is for uh, fits most children up to age ten. Now what's happening is we are seeing more and more of these sorts of images coming out. We've got you know sexy sailor suits. We've got little devils dressing children as little police women, French maids. And these are the sorts of images that are coming out and the costumes that are available for little children to wear. Now, what this does is it just puts the girls out as highly sexualised and teaches them that their currency is in their sexuality and how they look, whether they look hot. You know, really, really sad. My concern is that they're out on the streets scantily clad like mm. this. I, I, I'm just wondering what sort of a message that that sends out. And also, like... Parents as well, if you've got kids and you're promoting this or you're kind of encouraging the kids, are you also responsible? I mean, it's, it's a big question. Absolutely. Know, how to keep them safe? I actually think as parents, we need to set the boundaries here. We need to say enough. We need to say to the retailers, why are you selling this sort of garbage for our little girls mm -hmm. in the first place? I mean, there are other companies that are doing okay thing, but just on Friday night, I was walking with my little girl and we went past a, a, a shop that sold bras and pyjamas. And there out the front for all the world to see was little sexy police um, costumes, French made costumes and, you know, f for adults, for, for females to wear. And I have to explain to my daughter why, why are those costumes there. So that's what our girls are seeing. And do you think that this is a general thing, actually, in all of fashion, mm. that the sex relation of children's clothing is becoming in this way general? Absolutely. I mean, look at the role models we're seeing, the Miley Cyruses, Lindsay Lohan we just saw before on the screen. <clears throat> you know, they're coming out wearing very scantily clad outfits to their concerts. And our little girls are seeing that and thinking, OK, in order for me to be hot and to be accepted, I need to look raunchy and sexy. And that's quite sad. I think as parents, we need to have the boundaries there. And you talked before about when they're going around tonight trick-or-treating. Well, you certainly don't want your little 11-year-old girl knocking on neighbours' doors dressed as a little French maid, do we? Mm -hmm. So I, think... I wonder if there's any way that the retail, uh, the industry at large, can be made accountable or in some way it seems to me that they seem to be driving it as a marketing point of view. Absolutely and I think it's really the retailers that we need to call into account and say and actually stand up and say why are you selling this amongst all yeah. the other things for adults? Why are you selling these for our little girls? Because I mean it only takes these sorts of little photos to go on Facebook and then you know we know there's unscrupulous people out there that are just going to prey on these sorts of costumes here. I mean girls should just not be dressed like this mm. in any way and I always say to parents that use the granny rule if you if your grandmother was there and your daughter's about to go out would you be happy for her dressed like that to go to grandma's house? That's if right. not put a sheet around her. Very good very good advice thank you Sharon Witt.